Hi ladies and gentlemen, so this morning I'd like to have a little conversation with Wally, you know, share my thoughts on a particular incident that took place in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm not too sure how long ago, it could be two days, it could be one. What we're going to be talking about today is the young man that you all see on the papers here. I'm not sure if his name is Akil or Akil Phillips, but I'll be calling him Akil throughout the video. If I'm wrong, I humbly apologize. The young man that you all would have seen in that picture there just now was murdered. He was shot three times. It is believed that he was shot for his $1,500 cell phone. The young man left home, you understand, to go get something for his grandmother to make for dinner. Akil left home in search of bread and sausage so that his grandmother could provide dinner for the family. He made it back to the house. Imagine making it back to your home and being shot for a $1,500 cell phone. Now we are accustomed, we are accustomed to hearing people say, he know he nothing, he wasn't in nothing, this and the other. And we, and we just allow that to go over our heads because we believe to ourselves that they just talking shit, this person was involved in something. I could tell you all right now, just by looking, just by the energy that I feel at present, I don't believe this young man was involved in anything that would have deserved that death. This young man was 16 years of age. I have to say was because he's no longer is, he's a was. 16 years of age in Form 3 in St. Anthony's College. A young man who wanted to be a fireman told his grandmother that he had a change of heart, he's not too sure, so she could give him a little time so that he could tell her what it is he actually wanted to be. You understand, a young man who was progressive, working towards something. His father had to go and receive an award for him in school not too long ago. A young man with a vision and a plan and ambition and a goal who was on his way to achieving his goal was shot three times for a fifteen hundred dollar cell phone. I really wanna know what is the craziest part about all this? If this young man was shot by the police, let me just say he was shot by the police last night. There would be no rest inside Lavantel. The roads would be blocked. There would be tires burning. There would be refuse all over the streets. And justice would be called for. We would, you would hear that they want justice. You would hear that they, they need, somebody needs to be held accountable for this. And we ain't taking that just so. An outcry, a serious outcry. There is a young man who was most likely murdered by members of his community. Nobody willing and ready to say anything. Because we protect our own, right? Even if it means that our own is turning an area that could be a decent area into a gutter, into, into a place that nobody wants to be, nobody wants to go. It is okay. As long as we protect our own. You are telling me that no one feels it in their heart. No one with knowledge about who murdered this young man. Feels it in their heart like you know. Maybe. Just maybe. We need to rectify the situation. All you do not is self find justice. Or you do yourself a great injustice because you are removing the good elements of all the community and allowing the bad to flourish and prosper. 
so that every time that these areas are looked upon from anyone from the outside and yes we are on the outside and we have no idea what takes place in there yes we we have a skewed view you understand it's our perception but it do look good this do look good so at what point at what point are they going to decide that you know what we can't do this the same way that we want justice when it is the police doing shit is the same way that we want justice for a kill. The same way we go and burn tires for a kill. The same way we gonna march and we gonna make noise and we gonna say like no, somebody had to get grabbed for this or somebody had to pay for this. When are they going to reach that point? I sat down this morning. I sat down this morning, Jed, and I read through the story and it break my heart it really and truly break my heart and what hurt me the most about the entire story what really and truly bothered me the most about the entire story is the fact that the grandmother say that this young man was the first person in the family to attend the college. And that he made it clear to her that granny, I will bring all eight passes for you. Why why? Why 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 this why this is what we had to this is what we had to look at. Why? Why? Nobody not feeling any way about this. Nobody not feeling no type of way about this shit. That not bother anyone, right? I don't even live. I don't even know the young man. And it bother in me. It not bother anyone, right? There's only one for yourself, boy. Only one to remove the little good. That all you have. That all you can be proud of. That all you can make something of, Jed. All is so want the rest of the country to look down on it, boy. I really and truly hope that the people involved in the murder of this young man are caught and dealt with. And I go and pray for his family. I go and sit and pray for his family. And I hope that all here, if all you have a I'll leave it there.